Okay, today I would like to introduce what is IMC. Hello everyone, today I would like to introduce the concept of IMC. The intermetallic compounds. Please note that this presentation is a personal sharing, and the content might not be 100% accurate. For more information, you can visit website of mpe.researchmfg.com. So, what is IMC? We often hear the manufacturing engineer talking about this keyword of IMC when discussing soldering quality or issues like BGA cracks. IMC stands for intermetallic compounds. The growth of IMC layer is an inevitable compound during the PCB assembly soldering process. Without IMC layer growth during soldering, successful wetting of solder won't occur. To visualize this, think of IMC as cement that holds different bricks together to form a wall. The right amount of evenly applied comment ensures the bricks hold together with optimal strength. Excessive or unevenly applied cement, on the other hand, weakens the structure and may lead to collapse. Now we can get the conclusion. 1. Lack of IMC layer growth indicates poor soldering quality. 2. IMC layers are the weak points within the soldering structure. IMC is a chemical compound formed by the combination of two or more elements, such as Cu6SN5. The creation of IMC involves a chemical reaction that requires a certain amount of energy. This is why the refill process heats the solder paste. For IMC to form pure tin SN in the solder paste must combine with a copper-based or nickel-based substrate on the PCB at high temperatures. This results in the formation of a solid interfacial IMC layer. For instance, Solder paste and copper-based PCB create the IMC of Cu6SN5 or Cu3SN, C in OSP, IAG, ISN finishes. Solder paste and nickel-based PCB create the IMC of Ni3SN4, C in ENIG, ENXG, and a pig finishes. Okay. Here is the first video to introduce the IMC. Next time, we will give you more content to introduce what is IMC. See you next. Goodbye.